Dominic Crispy, everybody. Come on, keep it going for him. Why not? But it is like uh, there's a little box in here, man. You look exactly like Jimmy Carr. It's freaking me out. <laughs> I really don't need a lookalike of a more successful comedian taunting me in the front row. You like that? Is that the first time you got Jimmy Carr? You got a nice face about you, man. Honestly, if Britain doesn't have a Mount Rushmore, they should. I would chisel your face right into it. That way you can taunt me when I'm trying to walk around the street like a civilian as well. If there is a god, I imagine it's you. Looking exactly like you, with that face. Boy, the laughs really died quickly. I was like on a roll there. I was like, you look like Jimmy Carr. And everyone went, yeah, well, that's the end of that, isn't it? <laughs> Enough horsing around, mister. Let's get into the goods here. You've had your fun with your little Jimmy Carr rip. Now let's get serious. You're performing on a very expensive rug, my friend. Don't take the piss in here. Someone's really fed up now. I'm gonna smash a glass! Stop screwing around here! This is to, you're in a basement, sir. Why don't you act accordingly, please? You're in a basement in some dodgy part of London. There's a guy in the front row who looks like a more successful comedian and a group of very upset sewing circle people. This is a... This is a very strange, thank you, sir, for coming. <laughs> God, that, that is the look of a man who finally had a bowel movement. That is just, <laughs> three weeks I've been trying to push that one out. Yeah. Just in his shorts and a polo shirt. That's the look, right? Remember how your dad would look when he was going to the loo, right? He would always put the newspaper under his arm. He'd be like, yeah, just a little bit of me time. My dad would bring like entire, like, I was like, what are you doing? Are you running a small business out of the toilet, dad? He got like a typewriter, he's like, yeah. And nobody worry where dad's gonna be, okay? And get a little bit of me time here. That was the look, man. That was beautiful. I felt like I was on a cruise ship for a minute. Like, uh... You know what I mean? Just that look of a man who's lost his wife. It's just his beak and it's just, Miriam! <laughs> he dragged me out to this shit. Another American on stage talking way too loud for me. <laughs> Couldn't find the toilets, Miriam. They're, they're very hard to find. I couldn't find them. Got in there, almost couldn't get out, for God's sakes. I love old men in the toilet. They, uh, they, they, they make so many. I can't wait to be older. I'm 35, by the way, so I'm not at that age where I'm like, oh, it'll never happen. I know it's coming, and I can't wait, okay? Because old men are so much more uninhibited than younger guys, right? And I know that because I hear them in the toilets. <laughs> right? You get a guy like our age, like, how old are you, dude? Okay, 21 years old. You're probably like me. You shuffle yourself into a little cubicle, right? Because you can't stand next to everybody else. And we shut the door and we have our little moment. And these old men, they go in there, man. They let it all out. <laughs> Trousers to the ankles. Right? Put their arm around a stranger next to them. It's good to have our dicks out, isn't it? Two guys with their dicks out. Ah, it's nice. Just enjoy it. Here, hold mine, I'll take yours. Ah, shit that for you, bud. Shit that dick for you. They make all kinds of noises, man. They go like, oh, oh. They do, and they fart, it's crazy. And I'm like, I can't do that, but an older man just has like lost that part of his brain that's like, this is inappropriate. Oh. <laughs> Right? And then they just come shuffling back down. Back down in this basement. And the king said they talk to it and stuff. Come on, you. Starts up like an old car. <laughs> anyway, I christen this ship. Oh, man. You guys are a very odd assortment of people. I don't know how you have come together. I have no idea. Honestly, man, you look like a white-collar criminal who just brought all of his mistresses out for one. Ladies, I... I couldn't decide which one of you was the lucky girl that I saw. Everybody gets to play. This is like... This is an amazing sight over here. Just brought them all out. It's in a basement. Nobody's gonna catch me down here. 
<laughs> Nobody will catch me. That poor dude in the back who walked in, by the way, I don't think he has any idea what's been going on so far. I'm just imagining him back there. Is he talking about me? Shh, just enjoy the show. Just, just shut up and enjoy the show. Well, you got a good look about you, man. You look nice. I like that. Your, your body is dying to bust out of that shirt. You know that? It's like Phantom of the Opera. You're just waiting to... Uh, where are you going? What's that? Just getting a drink. Getting a drink, okay, great. So nothing wrong with that. Getting a drink, you have a giant bottle of... God, you know we're in England when they're like, we're gonna need more booze, girls. We've only got six bottles. This isn't gonna get us to the end of this guy's set. Are you crazy? We need to get more alcohol. And only in this country will they totally serve you. They'll be like, yes, of course. Only in Britain. What? Are you trying to start a riot? That's the only thing that can stop a show in this country. The bar is closed! Riots in the streets. Let's kill the American and drink his blood. I'm up for that. The bar is closed? That's weird. It's almost like there's a performance going on. This is my impression of you at work on Monday. So anyway, I was trying to get whatever I want, whenever I want. As you should. And I get up there, and they were like, you can't have what you want, whatever you want. Are you fucking kidding me right now? not having what I want, and I just had to look across from me and see the luckiest mistresses. <laughs> Getting whatever they need. <laughs> the man in the blouse. Um, the bird in the blouse. You all know that Alice in Chains number. Thank you guys, I'd like to have a toast. Thank you for pouring that something for me. A toast. I'd like to toast to, the, to this man right here. I don't know who he is. I don't know who this man is over here. But may your offshore funds produce vast dividends in the coming fiscal year. To this man, ladies and gentlemen. And he cheers himself. I'll drink to that, by God. There you go. Oh, that's very sneaky how you just stole. That was for me. Did you? She doesn't seem concerned. The only saving grace is how you are downing that mic. Like, and making eye contact with me, too. You're gonna get it. Oh man. Yeah, take it all, why not? Good for you. Boy, you just like took all that down. One one big shot. There's plenty more if you want it. Yeah. There's more. How about it? There's plenty more there. Get in it. It's great. It's white wine, is it? Champagne? What is it? White wine? It doesn't matter. Don't answer me, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's a man asking questions up here. Serious rivalry between you and you. That, this is like... Dude, I feel like, it, honestly, man, this is like you in Fight Club. And this is the guy who is you, but you think is not you. This is your Tyler Durden right here, man. Is this what this is gonna be? Is this place Fight Club after the show? Oh, I can't talk about it. Wow, the contest is on, girls. This mistress is trying to get to be first place in the crew. This is wild, 
man. I mean, if, I don't know if you know this guy, but it's uh, it's it's pretty epic. You guys look like mortal enemies. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then there's this weird sort of thing, there's cards right here, so I feel like you should just be sitting right here, and it looks like you guys are having like a really dangerous gambling <laughs> session right now for your lives, playing cards for your life. Great shirt, by the way, I like it. It's a nice compliment there, just throwing that out for no reason. Anyway, isn't it weird, man? I started out talking to you, right? And people were just like, enough. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to you so far. Either you've been picked on a lot. Has it been a lot? Oh, I don't know. Has it been a bit rough? It's been a bit rough, has it? You've been getting picked on a lot, and also you're sitting in this. I mean, are you hanging out with these people all night? You've been hanging out with them all night, yeah? That can't be easy. I've been around them for five minutes, and I am about at my wit's end. I'm my absolute end. You're very nice, though. I don't know how you guys all know each other, but... Anyway, 21, we're talking to you, buddy. <laughs> Good things going on in your future, I can tell right now. You look like you play the piano and you're dying to get a piece of this. <laughs> you are, aren't you? You got those posh fingers, I can tell. Uh, you got those nimble tips just waiting to do Chopin. I'm dying for it. Mother, please, let me. <laughs> That's you. That's been you sitting at the show the whole time. Mother, please let me tickle those ivories. No, Stanley. You mustn't. You mustn't share your gift with these plants. I like the looks of them. I don't like the looks of those girls in the front row. We didn't act like that in my day, sir. No, sir. We didn't get up in the middle of a show just to get more booze. It's a different time, then. It's a different time. We certainly didn't. I can sort of see, by the way, just off into the distance, a girl leaning her head against the wall in boredom. I want you to know that as a comedian, there is nothing more motivating than seeing. You look like you're in a Mariah Carey video from like 1989. Like a Paula Abdul video. Two steps forward and two steps back. We come together because... All right, very good. 10% of the room got on board with that. Yeah, were you just tired? You've probably been out all night, right? You what? Just comfortable. The way you said it with that accent, I believe you. Where I come from, this is considered bed. This is comfortable. I have never felt something so soft. What do you call this sweet fabric? It's a brick wall. My God, it's amazing. <laughs> you want real comfort? You get in good with this guy, right? Here. Right here. Sleep like a baby and be like heaven. He's always casting. <laughs> Who was using that, man? Why are you doing a recital after this? Doing a little recital for everyone. Oh, man, what an amazing room. What is just a great, right? We've got this whole party section here. we got the man and his mistresses. She's back on, she's back at her post. Are you done now? Because I'm going to lay back down. I'm going to go to sleep again. You relax. This is your night. You do whatever you want, all right? I just had to tell you that I noticed it, so you weren't like, why is he looking at me? I was just noticing. It's just it's sort of like a shaded area. It's kind of like in that movie, All the President's Men, when he gets information from Deep Throat in that part. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like nobody should be in here and you should be smoking a cigarette for him. You want to know how Trump is. <laughs> I'll give you the information. <laughs> Wait, somebody's coming. Marry him? God damn it! And then this guy just by himself. Oh. Why have you been ostracized out of the group? You're too cool, man. I can already tell you. You're dangerous. You need to be hanging with this guy. It's a man after 
to my own heart, separate from the pack, <laughs> sitting at a circular table, separate from this group of young people. There's a whole other show in the back section over there, too. Near the oil paintings. It's like an exhibit at a museum. Closed down for the night. Like those animatronics, you know what I mean? They just... Burr. Then in the morning they come to life and then they're oh, 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 the War of the Roses was a uh, alright guys, let's uh let's start the show. You're right. Let's begin with Oh, uh, uh, look at the time. I gotta go, you guys. Um, this has truly been an incredible experience. I want to thank everybody that made it possible, all right? So, Stuart, best of luck in all your future endeavors in the classical music world. You've got a lovely mother, and she, she is so strict because she cares. And you, my rebel friend, I don't know what you've done to get kicked out of that group, but keep on doing it, mate, because I can tell by the looks of them, they're dragging you down, all right? Don't let anybody tell you no. Keep it up, sir. I mean, this is fantastic what you've got going on. Good luck with your new life. And uh, you, the bar is now open. <laughs> Thank you, guys.